Lillibite here from AMS Productions, and today I'll be showing you how to make this really cool photo manipulation photo. Um, I will have three stocks for you in the uh, description below, so go ahead and download them, and let's just get started. So I've just opened up this rock image. Um, now what we're going to do is go to image, um, canvas size, and we're going to unclick the chain right here and for the height we're gonna set it to 1000 instead of 500 and just press enter and uh, move your picture the picture right here um, down all the way and click resize and we're gonna zoom out to 50 percent like this now go to layer uh, layer to image size and now we're gonna color this part in with white like this um, now we're going to duplicate, uh, actually, uh, using your rectangular select tool, we're going to draw a selection um, from here, from the top down towards the bottom right here. When you see this, uh, this um, from the dark blue all the way to the light blue, you want to um, make a selection from there, about here. And we're going to go to edit, copy, edit, paste as new layer, and you should have this. Now we're just going to go to select, now we're going to hide this layer right now, and we're going to go to filters, distort, eye warp. Now for the eye warp, I'm going to use the move, deform mode will be on move, deform radius I put on 60, deform amount is 0 0.4, this all depends on you, so you don't. it doesn't have to be these settings, but uh, that's what I'm using right now. So we're, all we're going to do is move it up uh, like this, like a mountain sort of shape. We're going to move all of these um, edges up into something like this. And this should be good. I just press OK. And we should have this. Now... Uh, grab your smudge tool and the brush I'll be using is the fuzzy circle fuzzy brush 19 and we're gonna I'm gonna tune this up and we're just gonna smudge it around the uh, edges and the corners like right here um, this part needs to be lighter um, like this um, now go to filters blur Gaussian blur and we're gonna blur it by 55 and go to filters again, and on the top it should say repeat Gaussian blur or reshow. We're gonna repeat Gaussian blur again, and now we're gonna use our smudge tool again and sort of smudge out the darker parts. We don't want as much light part as the dark parts, so we're gonna after you've done that, um, something like this. We're gonna repeat Gaussian blur again, uh, maybe one more time. There you go. So now, um, all we have to do now is uh, unhide this layer, and we're going to merge it down. Okay, open up your sky image uh, as open as a layer, and we're going to move uh, this using the move tool and move it up about here, um, halfway from here to here. And we're going to right-click on the layer and add an alpha channel. Now we're going to set this layer mode on screen, um, so it should look something a bit white. Now we're going to go to layers, oops, uh, layer to image size. Now we're going to use our smudge tool again and smudge out this um, these two colors so the um, it looks actually, it looks right. Um, so like that. And go to your smudge settings and we're going to tone down the opacity right here and we're going to smudge out the bottom part so it doesn't have a rough uh, edge like this we're going to just smudge this out so I went ahead and opened up this moon uh, image and make sure it has an alpha channel. If it doesn't, just right click on the layer and press add an alpha channel. And the first thing we're going to do is resize this image down a little bit. Um, so while holding down control, we're going to resize this. Um, not that much down. 
but a 190 by 190 for the size. Um, that's that. And we're going to set this mode onto screen. And go to colors, desaturate, and lightness. And we're going to rotate this image um, 45 degrees. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just going to eyeball it about here. And we're going to set this moon onto the horizon about, about here. Make sure it's halfway or it looks weird. And we're going to erase all this excess parts like right here in the ocean. So like that. Um, and now uh, we are going to create a new layer on top of this um, moon layer by pressing the page icon. And we're going to use our rectangular select tool and make a um, selection, a line selection about two pixels wide, um, the height of it, sorry, and move it down between the ocean and the moon about here. And we're going to color this in with white. Okay, now I'll go to select. Not. And go back to your smudge tool, and we are going to use the brush confetti. Um, tone that, uh, turn the opacity all, up all the way. Tone down the scale a little bit. And we're just going to make this upwards motion, up and down, up and down, across the uh, white line we have just made. So up and down. Oops, that's too much. Up and down, up and down. Back and forth, um, about twice, back and forth, like this. Now we're going to go to filters, um, blur, Gaussian blur. Blur about about 55, like that. And um, we're going to go to our layers dialog and duplicate this layer and merge it down. Go to filters again and repeat Gaussian blur. Repeat one more time. So three times Gaussian blurs. Now uh, go back to your original sky layer, and we are going to duplicate the sky and set the second one you have just duplicated onto multiply. And tone it down just uh, a little bit towards 90. And as you can see, the smudge um, that I did before, it's not really even right here. So I'm just I'm just gonna make it even. Um, that's good. Uh, okay. So um, the last thing we have to do is add all the color effects. So before we do that, we're gonna go to Layer, New from Visible. It just makes a new layer um, from your image right here. Now go to Colors, Brightness, and Contrast. For the brightness, uh, the brightness will be near negative 10, and the contrast will be on 5. Just enter these settings, and for the color uh, balance, go back to color, colors, color balance. For the highlight, make sure it's on highlight and not midtones. Um, we are going to put this on negative 15. For the green and magenta, we're going to put it on negative 10. For the blue and yellow, we're going to put it on 25. There you go. Click OK. Go back to colors, uh, color balance. And this time it's on midtones, not on highlight. For the red, will be negative 15, uh, negative 10 actually. Um, 20 for the blue and yellow. And click OK again. Go back to colors, um, color balance. And this time on shadows. It's going to be negative 25, 0, and 10. So enter these settings. And there you go. We have finished uh, making this. Um, if you still need the highlight, midtone, shadows, color, uh, the numbers, I'll have them in the description for you to see um, if you didn't get it. So uh, I guess I'll see you guys next time. And if you have any questions, please comment below and subscribe.